what's up you guys welcome back to my channel let's get right into it so on the right is the design for this wall basically it's just some nice lined paneling um, so first taking this trim slash panels whatever you want to call it this is MDF board from Lowe's marked it at four feet this is going to be my top pieces for the top part of the wall I'll put everything in the description but basically I just cut my eight foot pieces in half to get two four foot pieces so once I saw that these were even went on to measure where I wanted to put it on the wall nice to have a helper hold it for you so that you can measure the distance between where you want to put your other bottom pieces and how tall you want them to be so I wanted about a foot of overlap so here I'm just measuring where exactly I want to cut the pieces that will come from the bottom of the wall which you'll see here made a little marking I think I made this one about six and a half feet um, but I will put everything like I said on the screen and in the description as well so to make it easier I line them up against each other so I can cut multiple pieces at once when I had my appropriate measurements so this is all the pieces laid out the longer pieces are for the bottom and the shorter pieces are for the top then I took my level and I just made sure that it was straight um, and leveled against the wall and took my nailer and put like an anchoring nail in the middle and I would go back and add more and then taking a ruler or any type of measurement um, I just did the distance between where I wanted all of the bottom pieces to lay use the level again wherever I wanted to put it and then put that anchoring nail in with my nailer so just continuing this process, like I said, this is like a super, super easy accent wall to do. It's probably one of my favorite because we were able to do it so quickly and I think it just looks different. Um, so yeah, it's up to you on how far apart you wanna put everything. Um, I did end up doing it basically exactly to the measurement. So a good tip is just to measure your distance between your entire wall and how thick your trim pieces are so that you um, have enough space in between everything. So then here I'm measuring the distance between the two bottom pieces so I know where I want to have my top pieces lie in between that so that it is equal space on the side. So using the same exact system, taking the level, making sure that it is leveled and then having someone help hold it and add in the nails. And really that's it you just continue to do this that's why this video is super straightforward and quick um so if you are like hesitant to do certain accent walls that seem like they're too intricate this is like a perfect one to ease your way into it so i'm just reinforcing all of the pieces to make sure nothing is bowing out everything is secure and this is what it looks like without the paint and honestly this looks good as is my parents had like an eggshell color first but we are good so next i just need to fill in all of the gaps and then we would be good so taking some caulk which is the messiest part um taking just a few beads with my finger first to cover all of the nail holes and then of course after that having to seal up the sides um just adding caulk and then swiping it with my finger cleaning it up with a rag whatever you need to um caulk can get pretty messy so after we finish that we can get to paintings Um, this isn't like a handheld paint sprayer. This is kind of like the bigger machine, but still works for indoors. And we just took this like crisp white color. This is what my mom wanted. She loves the crisp white look and basically just sprayed everything together. And it looked super good and it was super easy. We did this within like, I don't know, probably this wall took like 10 minutes maybe to spray it all. Um, so yeah definitely recommend you getting a sprayer so you can already tell it only took us one layer of paint as well this is what it looked like that same night but this is what it looks like the next day so you can see how everything looked all together and complete and it looked super good it looked exactly how i had planned and my parents were super happy with it so make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you want to try this um yeah and subscribe to my channel if you're not already until next time i'll see you guys later bye